Hello fellow space engineers, I am the Linking Tinker and today I want to show you a little something that I've been working on. This is a little program that I like to call Easy Arguments. Basically it allows you to do everything that a timer block allowed you to do before, but now with the added benefit of allowing you to set exact slider values. I'll get right into it and let, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's say we've got the spotlight we want to turn on and off. So put in here, open, close parentheses, on, off, forward slash, spot. Now it takes a look at the names here and sees anything that has spot in the name. Uh, it will apply the argument in the first part to it. So let's run, and as you can see, it turns the spotlight on and off. Now it will also be able to do multiple things. So let's say we want to turn on and off the spotlight and everything that has the name thruster. So it'll turn the spotlight on and off and also all of these blocks here. So we run, as you can see the thrusters are turning on and off as well as the light. All right can also do multiple actions. Say we want the light to turn on off and the door to also open and close. So, so open forward slash door and it takes a look and there's a door here. Run. So there we go. Light turns on and off. Door opens and closes. And that's all nifty and stuff, but stuff you could do with timer blocks pretty easily anyways. Uh, the cool thing here is, let's say, piston. We want to set the velocity to an exact value and maximal distance to an exact value. So we'll go to our programming block and say upper limit colon and let's say point two five say zero point two five and then forward slash piston and let's also set its velocity to uh, 1.234 That looks good. Oh yeah, we also have to put the piston in there again. Alright, now we run it. As you can see, it is extended. And to the exact values that we set it to. Which is perfect! That's all nice and good. Another thing we can do is set up a button to do all this stuff as well. So let's say run, pass it the argument, uh, let's say we want the thruster to, oh, we need to pass the argument first. So say we want to override thrusters to let's say max value which is about 20,000 for forward slash thruster confirm okay for this to work the thrusters probably have to be on there we go and press the button and the thrusters are now at max output. Excellent. Okay. So another thing we can do is have a timer block run the program multiple times with different inputs. So let's take a look at the timer block and set up actions. As you can see, I have already set up a series of actions for it to produce, uh, all using the same programming block with different inputs. 
different arguments. So let's reset these thrusters to zero thrust override. Basically, it's going to toggle the light, open and close the door, and override the thrusters to max value. And I press the button. Oh, I've got to set it up first. Timer block. Trigger now. All right. Set this back. Now it should do it. There we go. Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah. One last thing I want to show you is that if you are curious about which actions you can do with which blocks, all you have to do is go into the program and edit. And there are two lists at the very beginning of the program. And these lists will show you the uh, actions that you can do uh, and the relevant blocks that they can be done on. So first list is for the sliders that you can set the exact values on. And the second list is a list of actions that you can just set. So yeah, there you go. Have fun, guys.